So we've got our site up and running, we've got our blog, we've got a contact form, but now you know somebody is going to mis make a mistake and land on a page they shouldn't. So right now, our site is just showing a error, and we don't ever want that. We wanna make sure that both users know that they've landed somewhere they shouldn't, as well as search engines know uh, where to look at for your 404. So let's add a 404 page, let's build. So we have our site now, and let's actually take a look at the front end here, all nice and pretty with all the content we just did. But let's actually look at what happens when we go to a 404. We know we haven't created the page called gerbils yet. So I head there and I get the standard out of the box expression engine kind of error, um, which works great out of the box again, um, but it doesn't create the best user experience. We wanna make sure to let the user know that, hey, this is not something you did, you just went to a page you weren't supposed to and that's okay. Um, so what we're going to do is actually set up a template that is specifically for our 404. So I have something created here. Uh, you can see nothing fancy. All this does is add a title and then pull in a partial with our page not found. And so how we set this is we'll go to developer and we're gonna go to templates. And we can see that showing up here uh, as part of our default template group. But we're gonna head up to the gear in the top right. And we are actually going to set that here. So you actually have the choice to add a 404 template. So we're gonna select default 404 and hit save settings. Great, so we can see that's updated. So now, if we go back to our page here and refresh, now we have our nice 404 page that's displaying. And it's just that easy. We just go back to that template settings and select a 404 group. So the other thing we might want to do is send a 404 in an existing template. So if we visit the docs on our 404 pages here, and we scroll down, we can see uh, this. So we can see that we can uh, set a 404 page when the user ends up on a URL that they're just not supposed to be. We can also manually redirect that. So for example, we see here, when is a 404 page sent? This one is looking at if there is no segment three that we're going to redirect 404. So for example, let's take a look. I'm gonna close my blog templates here. Go to our blog group and go to our blog entry. So we have just the use case for this because we have a blog here. So if I take this here, we have our blog channel entries. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna clear some space. And let's say, for example, that the user ends up at a blog that either is closed that doesn't exist, or they just mistype a title. So we're gonna say, just like the docs tell us down in this example, if no results, re redirect 404. So let's actually bring that in. We'll just copy and paste that. And that's all we've done. So let's head back to our site. We're gonna go to our blog. And let's just select a blog entry. And let's test it. So let's say, have you seen these cats? So now, even though the user is in a section or on a template where they're supposed to be, we can see that just by going to the wrong URL entry, that we've said that if there are no results for this channel with the segment three, which is uh, our mistyped entry here, that we can automatically force the user to a 404 page. Um, so which is especially nice in cases of, you know, analytics, that kind of thing. If you have a title that keeps getting hits, but is a 404 um, that you know where to fix it. It's also uh, good to set up just for that user experience again. So if they mistype, they know where they're heading. So that is all there is in setting up a 404 page. So we'll see you in the next one.